Aquarius. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. I'm Amanda. That's Coconut. I'm dog sitting. So, you know, August is this really transitory month. It always is. But this transition feels perhaps more potent than other August transitions. There is a massive shift, a massive up grade up leveling happening in the collective and that is affecting all of our lives individually in different ways and so I'm choosing to use the spread that I post about over on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram check me out at unseen hands healing um, but this is a shift this is a spread about this shift the shape that you are shifting out of as we transition here into the fall and the shape that you are shifting into. And for some of you, this could be in the month of August, you know, but time is much more fluid than um, the label on these readings. So who knows how long this shifting process will take for you. But here's what you're shifting out of, what you're shifting into, and what that looks like, what that shift feels like in your life. Before I get into talking about this reading for you, as I was meditating on your energy before I pulled cards, some specific stuff came up. First, I heard, and I'm, let me just try to remember the phrase. It was something about you're carrying something you don't need to carry you're carrying something, there's something you don't need to carry. There's something, it's just like you no longer need to carry that. That was the feeling, you no longer need to carry it. And there was no image with that, there was just the, the phrase that came through. And I felt Ten of Wands, you know, I felt like there's a burden that you can put down. There's something you've been carrying for a long time that you can put down. Um, and then I got this image of a boat. It, it was the front of a boat charging kind of through the waves, maybe traveling somewhere, going through the waves. And with each, and it was like the, the momentum behind this boat was very strong. You know, it was just like, I'm going to this new place. And it was like, whew going there and it felt really joyful. It felt really like exuberant, you know, almost like dolphins going through the waves. It was that type energy of like this pod of dolphins, just like, let's go, leaping out of the water, but it's this boat, it's the front of this boat and it's going, it's going. And then um, with each sort of crest of the wave and then like falling down, the boat, the front of the boat would dip down into the water and like scoop some water up, like take on water, take on water, take on water each time, like more and more each time. So there's something maybe about taking on water, you know, like water, water is a vehicle and the boat, this is images of like a vehicle for you to travel on. Water is also emotional energy could just be like literally traveling across seas or across lands but there's like it's joyful it's really really joyful energy and there was something about taking on water and I thought oh gosh why is this boat taking on water oh no but it wasn't like it's gonna sink it was just that's what was happening and you know Aquarius you are called the water bearer so that's sort of interesting it's like Oh wow, and we have the Knight of Cups here, the water bearer just connected with the Knight of Cups for me as I said that. Whoa. Okay, sorry, we'll get into that in a second. Um, but as you're as okay, so so I saw this boat taking on water and thought, okay, Aquarius, the water bearer, interesting. And then um it was like I zoomed out and realized that it was a little kid playing with the boat in the ocean, just like playing with it and scooping the water with the front of this toy boat. 
and it seemed, um, and, and I was like, okay, maybe that's this like joyful, playful energy, but it almost seemed, it really didn't feel like that when we were in the boat going across the water, it really felt like, like the captain of a ship, like charging forward, going to a new land, like discovering new lands, like really traveling. And then all of a sudden it was like, it was almost like on the flip side of that. It was like on the other side, there's this child playing with the boat. And then I realized the child was in a bathtub playing with the boat, using it as a scoop for the water. And then the child's parent came and like scooped up the kid and took them out of the bath. And that was all I saw. Very, very, very interesting. But the, you know, and that's gonna resonate differently for all of you, I'm sure. Um, so please, you know, as I'm describing that, whatever images and thoughts are coming up for you are, are what you are meant to take from this um, visualization that came. But there is definitely something about becoming a child again. There was a feeling of rebirth like the ship going to a new land to be reborn as a child. Becoming a child again. Okay, so that's the meditation. And now let's see what shape you are shifting out of, what shape you are shifting into. You are shifti shifting out of Capricorn energy. The Capricorn card is here. You're shifting out of Capricorn energy and you are shifting into the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. This is such a gorgeous transition. And talk about, you know, becoming a child again, being reborn. That is absolutely this energy of the Ten of Cups. So the fact that you're shifting out of um, Capricorn energy... This is interesting. For some of you, that could mean something very specific, but overall, you know, Capricorn energy is, it is earth. It's like you're moving from earth to water, which is funny because I felt that in the meditation. It's like you're going off into water. You're going from one land to another through water, through the emotional landscape. And here we have um, that glimpse that moment of emotional fulfillment in the ten of cups and i say fulfillment because it's the ten you know it's one to ten in the minor arcana where at the ten it's that moment that sort of peak pinnacle moment of emotional fulfillment which is of course available to us um it's not some sort of destination you know this is a moment that comes quite frequently this feeling it's a feeling, you know, a feeling of heart being full of um, wishes and dreams and miracles, really. Rainbows, the miracles with the rainbows. Um, Capricorn energy shifting out of this. So I thought about the south. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now in Capricorn in the skies. We got Saturn, Pluto, and the south node all in Capricorn. And that has been, that has been a, the, one of the major catalysts for that collective shift that I talked about right at the beginning of this reading because Saturn is there to help us close out cycles and learn some lessons from the past once and for all in a major, major way. That's why this upgrade is so big because it's like we are finally learning the lessons that we need to learn so that we can move forward into a whole new future, right? That boat going off into who knows where. And we have Pluto there helping with that transformation process, dredging up whatever needs to be dredged up here in the sign of Capricorn so that it can be transmuted and released through that work of Saturn. 
And then of course we have the south node, which is all that past stuff that we've been involved in so far that it's time to evolve out. You know, that's why the south node is there. It's an indicator of where we have been. If you believe in past lives, that's an indicator of past life, you know, where we have been as a collective. This Capricorn energy for us is in the past. Capricorn energy being, um, you know, collectively, especially here in the United States, this could be talking about traditional patriarchal structures and, you know, the, the rule of the patriarchy and government and the ways that we have been, been going about things in terms of enterprise and business, capitalism. Those things are on their way out because we've got to go now towards the North Node, which is in the opposite sign, Cancer. We're talking about emotions, you know? It's like that boat go, leaving the land, the Earth, and going towards the water, going towards that emotional fulfillment. We are, we are collectively and individually now beginning to listen to our hearts, beginning to leave, you know, prescribed responsibility or prescribed ways of going about life and saying, I want something else. I just saw 1133, 1133. I'm, I'm want fulfillment for my heart. What is my emotional fulfillment? You know, not just what my duty is or what I think my duty is, what I think I need to be doing. This is what you're leaving behind, old structures. You're reevaluating the traditional structure in favor of something else. And, and I'm really being drawn for you in this reading here to the skeleton. It's like, what is past? What is just no longer giving life? Because it's, it's, it's served its time. It's over. It is ready to turn to bone, to return to the earth from which it came. Shifting into a new emotional dream. We've got these fluorescent pink cups just lighting up the sky moving up towards the rainbows it's like releasing a new dream so there is there's something old that you are shifting out of with this capricorn energy and and a new dream rising that's where you're headed and you're following your heart. So the shift looks like this. Ace of Swords, somebody else got this and I can't remember who. This is a revelation, a revelation of the truth. You know, in order to shift out of the old, you first have to admit the truth. What is the truth? And it's the, whatever it is, it's a revelation between these two spirits. It's like a revelation between two spirits of oh, this is the truth or this is a new idea. This is the revelation between us. And that idea, that revelation, that realization is like, I'm seeing, I think these are supposed to be feathers coming off the birds, but what I'm seeing is sparks. Because I see this here, wherever the sword is like pointing down, that's like the ignition. You know, something is ignited and sparks start flying. There's a revelation between two spirits that is the catalyst for this shift for you out of what needs to to leave your life and the momentum for that is this knight of cups which 
like forever now I'm going to think of as the water bearer. And of course, that makes so much sense. Here comes this knight bearing this cup of water, of emotions. It's like, and again, with the, the boat and feeling like a dolphin, like charging through, scooping up water, scooping up water, just like charging to this new land. It's like incredible to see the Knight of Cups come out after getting that visualization because this is exactly it this is exactly the energy is like charging forth from your heart into new lands saying like i'm ready i'm ready for my heart to be satiated i'm ready for my heart to be fulfilled i'm i've got this love to give and i'm letting it lead the way and it's it's romantic it's so romantic you know whether this is like a love situation or not you know romance can enter any area of your life it doesn't have to be love could be you know but it's like i mean gosh there's romance in following your your career dreams tremendous romance in following your heart in whatever area whether that's leading you to another person leading you to another land um another place to live you know like whatever this is it's like you're following this dream there's this this rainbow on the horizon that you're just charging charging towards with this cup offering something the water bearer you come bearing some sort of emotional gift They're like it's like the gift of your heart saying here it is <laughs> i love this knight of cups energy so much the holy grail you know emerging it's like there's a revelation between two souls and now here's the action. The, the forward movement. Right from the heart. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, it's lovely energy. It really is. So then... Then there comes this choice to be made. It's like, you know, the two of wands. Here you are at this portal. The portal to the ten of cups, the doorway. Oh my gosh, I just like saw you at a literal doorway. It's literally at, at like at someone's door, like ready to knock at someone's door. Maybe you're going, you know, that, that boat traveling. Maybe you're going to see someone. I don't know. Or just this door, this doorway to your future, this doorway to your dreams. You're like knocking on the door of your dreams here. And here you are knocking on the door. You haven't stepped through yet. This is the invitation. And here's the world in your hand, you know, holding the world before you. And it's, it's, it's your choice. You know, when I saw this card, it's interesting too, because there's this, I don't know if you can see this, but there's almost like, it's a, it's a busy card. There's a lot going on. And usually often when there's a big choice like this with the two of wands, that does feel like there's a lot going on, you know, um, but there's, this feels like water to me back here. It's dark blue, I don't know if you can see the color. But it's like this dark blue wave that has now carried you to this new shore where there's all this like new plant life that you're not used to or something. That's the feeling that I have. I was like really drawn to that. I was like, ooh, I've never seen that kind of plant before over here on this, in this land. Um, and here's the world being offered to you. And now there's also like a hand, see the finger pointing? that seems to be pointing you it's like this way this is the way which you know in the spread here it's <laughs> this is quite beautiful actually the finger is pointing these disembodied hands always feel like the hand of god to me spirit you know there's a lot of spirit in this reading these two birds 
spirit coming in and, and helping you to see something. This revelation. Aha. It's like such a major aha moment between two spirits. And then you charge forth motivated by your heart. And then it's like the Ten of Cups being the shape that you're shifting into. You are shifting into your dream space. your wish space, the space of miracles, you are literally shifting into that space. And you can see that that space is the hand, it, like the hand, this hand that's holding the world is coming from the 10 of cups. The, the world is being held out to you. The world is being opened up before you. And this hand is pointing in this direction, saying, take the offer. the offer who powerful reading Aquarius take the chance what was the phrase that came in the beginning like you're holding something you don't need to carry that's definitely this this like whatever is is Kind of dead and gone here whatever earth whatever land whatever like earth element thing <laughs> earth 3d earth plane something's in your reality something is in your your physical reality that you no longer need or that you just it's just it's just past its time in this form it's time to evolve out of this south node stuff and into that north node, I'm really feeling that nodal axis for you in particular, Aquarius. And that cancer axis is following your heart. It is. It's what, what nourishes your heart. What's going to nourish your heart here? That's what you got to follow. And, and a revelation, I think, is going to come and help you out with that. So, Aquarius, I'm going to take a card here from... Um, the liminal postcards from the liminal space to get you a little clarity here. Um, but for those of you who this, this is really resonating with, um, I am going to offer an extended reading here, which is essentially a whole other reading that takes clarity on the shift that is present here for this reading, but then, you know, we're never really shifting from one point to another. That's just one shift on this journey. There's going to be then an a f even further shift from this 10 of cups. And so in the extended reading, I want to pull some more cards here and see if we can get what the next leg of this journey is feels like or or what the guidance is for the next part of this shift for you Aquarius so if you're interested in that there's going to be um, a link in the description box and you can follow me onto patreon or Instagram which are the places where you can um, have access to that extended reading but for those of you where this reading is good enough um, I do want to leave you with a postcard from the liminal space so let's just get you a little shuffle so that we can get a specific message for Aquarius for this shift from Capricorn energy into the Ten of Cups. What does Aquarius need to know in this liminal shifting transition? Magician is only as good as their tools. <sighs> Beautiful. There's something about the tools that you're surrounding yourself with. You know, because especially in the beginning, I, I heard that, like, you're carrying something you don't need to carry, or there's something with you that doesn't need to be with you anymore. And I'm almost seeing you with this card. 
you know, as the magician going through your toolkit, going through your shelves and clearing out, you know, a magician is only as good as their tools. What needs to, what is no longer of use to you here in the world that you are co-creating with spirit for yourself? What's no longer a, a, a useful tool? And what's missing from your toolkit? You know, what's the next tool to acquire? I'm going to, going to read you um, the description, if I can find what I did with the booklet here. One second. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. I know it wouldn't be fun. I want to read this to you because I like the way the authors talk about things. Um, and if you're curious about this deck, I'll link, link to that below. Okay. A magician is only as good as their tools. The wheel was first used as a means of transportation around 3200 BC. And magic was alive and well long before that. Now there are cars, airplanes, rocket ships that can safely launch you into outer space. There is technology to connect us, infrastructure to support us, medication to balance us, more information available than ever to educate us, as well as the practices of the ancients. Examine your resources and expand if necessary. What are you using and how is it working? There is no wisdom in refusing a tool that will help you. gorgeous. Okay. Aquarius, thank you for joining me here for your mid-August reading. I am wishing you all of the, all of the luck and, um, just like spark for your heart. I just feel like a really like positive fire in the heart for you, Aquarius. And I'm wishing that for you as you shift into this new shape it's interesting too because what's coming to me is that like you would think it wouldn't be difficult to shift into a shape like the ten of cups because the ten of cups feels like everything we want you know it feels like that rainbow that we've always dreamed of but you know what <laughs> especially Capricorn energy this energy is really hard to leave it's really hard to move from. This is not, this is deep earth energy, deep earth. These crystals are found in the deep earth, you know, and this is not something that moves very easily. It's not an energy that moves easily. And so I can, I can feel like a heaviness with this energy and a light buoyancy with this energy. And that's also part of this shift that you are making. I think your form, your physical, spiritual form is getting lighter as you shed what no longer, what you no longer need. And as you like follow the lightness of your heart, like those dolphin, that dolphin energy, follow the lightness of your heart and, and you choose that lightness. You choose that lightness of being. Mm. Okay. So Aquarius, if you want to dive deeper, join me for the extended. If not, thank you so much for watching and joining me. Click that like button so we can surf the waves of um, the YouTube algorithm here. And do subscribe to my channel so that we can stay connected moving forward into September when hopefully this momentum really starts to pick up and solidify. Take care, Aquarius.